Right, I'm Mick Garvey from, from Ergon World. Uh, I'm taking over from Terry and Dave for a couple of episodes uh, for reasons beyond anybody's control. Uh, around this permission of mine, I've been called in by one of the residents. The, the rabbits have, uh, have taken over and they're beginning to undermine the, the foundations from the lodges behind us. Uh, and also the private garden, they're undermining the shed. They're full of it, they're taking the little saplings down, all the plants they're trying to plant, they're just getting nowhere. So tonight I'm here with my Air Arms TDR uh, and we've got the Pulsar Thermion XM30 that uh, Terry's kindly sent me up and uh, a thermal spotter which I believe is the Helion. Uh, I'm used to using these sort of things so hopefully we're we'll going to have a good night and we'll uh, gonna try zero the gun in a minute and then uh, we're on to it. Hopefully it'll be a good, another good night. Right, we're using a bit of a trick here for what we do for uh, zeroing night vision and thermaling. Using a bit of reflective tape, basically it's silver tape, onto the target, sets out at your required distance, uh, and it reflects the sun. And it gives you, if you're on white hot, say, on the white hot palette, it'll show black. Uh, as it's reflecting the sun, it's just like a cold spot. And if you reverse the palettes to be white at black hot, then you'll get uh, like a white reflection. Uh, it's something I've used always and it's just as good if not better than using a heat pad. You hit a heat pad like you use on your hands or in your, on your feet, hit it once and it explodes and it's gone with a silver foil. But keep its shape and keep it going you know, for, for, uh, forever until you've, until you've ruined it. So we're going to try again, we're going to make sure where the zero is and uh, then we're off for some, some rabbits. Right, well that's not too bad, we've had three shots at it. One to the left, one to the right. Last shot, bang in the centre where we need to be. Roughly about 30 yards, uh, 35 yards perhaps I think. Uh, we're using the Norma Golden Trophy FT Heavies. Uh, pretty impressive actually, the first time I've used them. Uh, had, to, had to run through the barrel of salt to get the barrel used to them and uh, at that sort of grouping, we're gonna be okay. Uh, that's it then, let's go and get some rabbits. One down. But this is where the rabbits are coming in. And if you just, if you can pick it up, you'll see where they've been digging away in here. This is quite a bad area. You can see where there's, there's a multitude of holes. They're underneath the shed, they're undermining that. And the worry is that they're going to come down to these houses down here behind us. Uh, and the owners are quite concerned if they're going to do that to the sheds. It will not be long that the houses get undermined. Uh, but onwards and upwards. Only been there for the time being. As you can see, quite a nice shot. 
pellets are doing the job, so is the equipment. It's quite fresh here. You can see from the, from the droppings that's around that area. This has been dug out a little bit more since I was here the other day, so they're quite active on here, very active. This is another particularly bad area in here. You see how fresh this is? Same again, again underneath the sheds. I don't know if you can see if you look, if you scan through the edges. In fact, I'll bring the rifle in here and we'll uh, see if we can get some from the cover of this place. I'm losing my vision here, so we've got one down there. Yeah, he's gone. Still a bit light. I think we're doing well to have had two up to now, to be honest, in this light. fence line that runs down there and all the rabbits are sat there facing that they know something's going on so probably need to go around wait for a bit more darkness once it gets dark we'll be all over them like I say I think two in this light because it's still bright daylight uh, is not too bad at the moment but proves one thing the kit's working everything's working all right superb While we're waiting to go dark, or a little bit darker, and the sheep to move out, I'm going to go down and I'm going to punch that rabbit out uh, and uh, get it ready for the pot. Let you take it home if you like. Quake chair, kindly donated by Terry Doe. Uh, and we've got the Ruag knife, supplied by Ruag. I'm going to punch this out now uh, while we're waiting to go dark. Uh, take the chair while I'm at it. Various different ways of doing it, but always good to have a nice sharp knife. There we go, everything's looking healthy. No signs of anything that shouldn't be there. That's it. Well, 
One bunny and a bit done. I'll take care of the head and feet later on. But yeah, not a bad size. Three quarter size rabbit. All done. Right, impatience got the better of me. Uh, the rabbits were all sat out on the fence. I realised I could, I could stalk down the edge and keep myself close to the edge, just with the olive drab olive gear we've got on. Uh, as long as I kept my movement slow, steady, and nothing jerky, we were in. I got within 30, 40 yards, 50 yards for the furthest one, I think. Uh, just took another three. Uh, eventually, they all disappeared. But uh, yeah, I'm quite happy with that. The, everything seems to be working well. I keep saying it, but like the pellets working well, the, the gun, the scope, uh, and the, the only fallible bit, myself, I seem to be doing alright as well, so I'm doing alright. That's five today, and it's not even dark. Oh, we didn't get that one on film on the, on the scope camera, because it was behind a, behind a hill. Uh, but uh, this is probably the last one before it gets too dark now and then we can start properly going for the thermal night vision stuff. Uh, yeah, another nice decent rabbit. I think we're on six, seven now. Not bad, night's getting dark, we should get a few more. Okay. rabbits that we've got and while we're up there we'll look through the gate see if there's anything in there if this thing's up towards the top we'll go through the gate if we can't see anything we'll walk up to the top and around the corner again where we, where we went before okay it's coming towards me again good of him Set out there beautifully. Perfect range. Set up lovely. It's right in front of the house. So another lucky one. See if I can walk around the bottom to get a different angle shot on it. Bigger than that, the scope, that's the problem with the thermal. It flattens everything out, you don't get a good perspective of size. And it, it, it spoils your distance, so you really need to know your, your land and your distances when you're shooting a thermal. Alright, I think my leg 
back round onto the top field. on this if you within a few yards normally it's quite flat but I think it's there's quite a bit of a drop on it so it appears to It's coming towards me. <laughs> I think that's empty. Yep. Another two on video the two down. The second one's kept running about and chasing the other one. It's coming towards me, closer and closer all the time. Try and get down the edge, move right to it, so we've got a bit better shot. Right, just changing the mic because we're out to pellets on that mic, so there's another eight shot mic going in. Hopefully, that should equate to some more rabbits. I'll not, just, I'll not say how many. Let's see what's out there.
Should we pick some rabbits up? Another one, the first one just hit the fence. This wind is getting stronger, but the second one allowed for it, and we've got it. So, we'll go and pick that up. We'll take the gun with us and see if there's uh, any more just down that banking. You have to be careful of these because these people are living in these houses. So, if we leave him there, we should, should find it on the way back. Wind's just killing it now. That's out of pellets. Oh my god. Right, okay, let's pick these up then. Quite a bit of activity down look at these holes that's been dug in here. Be careful here. This is called getting the urine out of them so that that one's empty anyway. So when you when you gutting them, you don't get onto the meat or anything. Like someone's attempt to try and block the block him in. A decent size one, I've seen the size of holes here. These are all fresh, you can see it's all still wet. Get the rabbit droppings here. Just look at the way that's destroyed. That's what's happened for sure. I think so you've already, even if you've hit it well and it's just bouncing around, they'll all seem to find a way. 
into the rabbit hole again. Just the, the, the pure beauty of thermals is that you don't just need them for shooting, they're ideal for spotting and for locating your quarry at the moment you're looking across this field. And there's nothing, nothing, nothing else. And there's a great heat patches where we've dropped a couple of them off earlier. And there's one in front of me that I must have missed earlier when I tried to pick it up. So, pay for itself. One rabbit we probably we could have ended up leaving out by accident. And we found it. It's, since they very first came out, I've always used these for finding quarry, as, as well as spotting it, if you know what I mean. By finding, I mean like after you've shot it and find it in the field. Especially in this long sort of grass, they can quite easily drop into tracks, down to holes. This will find them quite easily. Right, I'll go and pick this one up. Right, well there we go, end of the night, it's uh, quarter past eleven, we've been here since about half past seven-ish, so yeah, good, good few hours, we've got 17, uh, there's another one that's been skinned out already, uh, probably had three escapees down the holes, but all in all a good night, uh, looking forward to getting back again when it's not so windy, you probably couldn't tell because we're wearing microphone uh, fluffy things on them. Uh, but the wind up on the top is quite strong and it's definitely affecting the shot. You'll probably see that from some of the thermal imaging. When I was uh, taking the shot, I was having to wait. I could feel the wind is actually blowing me. So, uh, and another day when there's a little bit less wind. I like a little bit of wind for the rabbiting. It seems to cover your, your movements and your noises down. But a little bit too much wind spoils it completely. Uh, plenty more out there, uh, as, we, as we've seen tonight. And I'm uh, planning another return on here. I'm trying to get on top of them.